Mark, right? It is. It is. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm just just kind of interested in in um, in kind of you know I've I've kind of I think that the kind of the focus of my story will be I, I kind of followed around a group there's a group in Boston that that meets pretty regularly and um, you know monthly if not if not more and um, you know it's just it's just kind of big into this movement and I'm just kind of curious you know it sounds like you know that both you know, obviously I know that you're you're uh, um, pretty heavy into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so I figured I figured I would just ask you know like what 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 is it about this this particular topic that that seems to um... draw people in like some sort of religious exactly. cult? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, no. I mean, I, and I'm not going to shy away from that because it's it's been compared to that in in some circles, and it really does have some some of the earmarks because one, it's based on faith. You know, it's not like we've got a, a, a this picture of a flat Earth that we can we're, we're just passing around to people. But yeah, the the big the big two reasons, and I've been asked this question before. In fact, just recently. Yeah. Uh, the big two reasons why it's resonating so well with people is one because it's easy to understand. That's probably the okay. the, the first reason. And you know, when, when it okay, comes okay. when it comes to anything, it's really easy. It doesn't sound like it when you when you first hear it because you, you're you're so conditioned against it that again, like everybody, I hated it for the first time I I heard yeah, yeah, yeah. the term ever in my life. But if if I had to break it down like in less than 20 seconds, I'd say all the world's a stage and you're on it. Yeah. That's that's really okay. it. And once you can get your head around that, then it's just it comes comes down to the details, which is all right. Okay. If we are on a stage, you know, a big Hollywood backlot, then how was it built? How was this part taken care of? And then, of course, you have to look at the other side. It's like, well, yeah, but we've got a whole bunch of people telling us it's not. It's the exact opposite. We're this little rock right. fly, flying through space. I'm right. going, yeah, but those guys have, like anything, like any corporation, like any institution, they have a vested interest to protect that institution. Um, the comparison I try to give people is, and, and by the way, I'm, I'm, I, it auto records everything that I. Uh, uh, that I talk on my phone. So if you want a copy of yeah, this, yeah, yeah. I can I can send it to you in case you're like trying to jot down notes or anything like that. Oh, awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm typing up notes too, but yeah. If you, if you oh, yeah, that, yeah. You yeah. No, people ask me that all the time. It's like, look, if I hear people even thinking about jotting down notes, like, look, I'm recording the whole thing anyway, so I'll, I'll, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just send it to you. But, but the easiest analogy I give to people is like, look, what if the Catholic Church found out tomorrow that the Virgin Mary's name was Susan? Would they tell people? No, of course they wouldn't. The narrative's too far along. The the foundation's too well laid. Yeah, they'd have to rewrite so much. It's like, well, you know, what they don't know won't hurt them. So it's sure. it's going to be the Virgin Mary. Let's just go with that. And that's a small, small. That's just a name, and they're not going to tell you. It's just you know, you know one of those things where they just kind of push. It's like, well, yeah, we we know, but the, the narrative doesn't okay. really change. It's just a name. Think about that when it comes to science, and that is. If, because the question comes, like, look, it's not like, here, let me throw a different angle at, at, at you, yeah. which is when I ask the average person or anybody in our, our community or anyone that starts out in our community, ask the average person, like, how do you know you're on a globe right now? Eventually, you're going to lean on one of the space programs. If you're in the United States, you're going to lean on NASA and Russia, you know, their space program, the European and, sure. and so on and so on. Yeah. I go, okay, that's good, that, which is what I expect you to do. How did we know before NASA? Because it's not like we woke up in 1972 when the first full disc picture of Earth was taken and said, oh, wow, well, sure. you know, a good thing because we, we were worried. We didn't know we were on a globe. We were taught yeah. for at least 20 to 25 generations before that. So how did you know before NASA? And then, then everybody's gears start spinning. It's like, well, uh, you know, ships on the horizon or curved shadows in the moon. I'm going, okay, science. So science okay. told you, and you just took their word for it. And it's like, well, yeah, okay. science wouldn't lie. Why, why would science lie to us? And it's like, well, yeah, okay. Here's here's the problem. There, if 
let's say that science has been pushing that thing, you know, the globe for 20, 25 generations. We'll just go back, and I know people yeah. will talk about the Greeks and the Sumerians, whoever else, you say, but really, there's a reason why they call it the Copernican model. And that is, you know, the okay. Copernicus, you know, 500 years ago. We'll go, we'll go back that far, because most people, that's, that's where they use their grounding point. Okay. If, if you get, if eventually, sooner or later, you have to take a picture of the Earth, sooner or later, let's say you get up there, and it isn't what you thought it was. Would you okay. te- would you tell the population? And from everything that we've seen, and I, I look, I'm I'm one of the few conspiracy guys that'll actually kind of go along with the greater good, which is okay. It's <laughs> like well, because some people say no, I'd absolutely tell the population. It's like would you? Because that that's one of the questions you'd probably ask. It's like why hide it? Why why keep it? Hidden? Yeah yeah yeah. And I get sure. that probably one out of every ten questions, and there's several reasons for it, but they're real easy once you once you think about it a little bit. And that is, um, the first one is academic, which is you think of every major university in the world that has an astrophysics or an astronomy department. Those okay. those departments shut down overnight. They they shutter their doors. They do not open. And then the remaining physical sciences like geology, hydrology, biology, archaeology, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter what the discipline is. Any ground based science has to retool from the bottom up because of because of this new model. Obviously, I mean, everyone's just going to be spinning. I mean, books are going to have to be rewritten almost immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just the academic part economics would be in chaos you'd have to close down all world markets for at least a month to figure out what what the new industries you know what does this mean to every industry in the world uh, most notably you, you say you'd have to close down what i'm sorry the, uh, all the world stock markets immediately okay. it, you know i mean good lord i mean if if uh, if the president was was shot tomorrow you know they would have probably have to <laughs> close markets like two or three days just because that yeah. e- e- everything freaks out the stock market can you imagine if all of a sudden oh yeah by the way the world isn't what you think it is uh, it would be chaos in, in in the world markets uh most notably like the defense industries and which kind of ties to the third part which is spirituality which we'll get into in a second which is let's say uh your your entire industry like pick boeing for example they don't just make airplanes okay. they make weapons and so does general dynamics and lockheed martin the united states makes a lot of weapons and sells it to other countries would you okay. still be going to war if this place was a snow globe because at that point you have to think it's like okay you know if it's a if it's a globe a globe model you can lean towards the science side and say oh well it's organic it's an accident it's just happenstance that we're here but if it's a snow globe it's tough to be an atheist so okay. if you're going down that road it's like okay do you still go to war not only that though do you still commit hate crimes do you still commit sex crimes because it's like okay there may be somebody looking over your shoulder i'm not going to say mm-hmm. you know i'm not going to name god and and say well you know it's the divine it's some guy that looks like santa claus in a bathrobe but okay it's that little, and that really ties into the third part which is the spirituality side which is you can remember eight okay. out of every 10 people in the world belong to one of the major religions and okay. you're basically, and all of them, all of them have been looking for the Holy Grail, the Ark of the Covenant, that sort of thing. They've been looking for proof, you know, handprint of God type stuff. Yeah. And what if all of a sudden you, and I'm not necessarily saying you're giving it to them, but you're giving them a huge uh, uh, push in that direction, giving them a lot more, you're empowering them a lot more. What happens to those groups? Because remember, science has been beaten over the head for 500 years and doing a pretty yeah. good, pretty good job of it. I mean, we're so high tech now that that religion's really taking a back seat. Does religion have the restraint to not exact vengeance <laughs> against science? You know, to where okay. you can you can imagine that people, you know, literally soapboxes in the middle of universities saying, "Burn down the libraries." That sort of thing. So you, yeah. you you couple all those three things I just those three things I just mentioned and the scary people that, that run the world, you know, the the long table and the cigarettes, you know, bad lighting. Though that that meeting lasts about ten minutes, which is like, okay, do we tell them if there's even a chance that people will there'll be chaos in the streets with pitchforks and torches? They're not going to do it. So they just decide. There's even a chance, you said? Yeah, there's not even a chance. If there's even a chance of that happening, you just don't take it. Uh, the yeah. authority, the, the highest authorities do not do not take chances. They always hedge their bets and cover their bases. 
and that's what they did in the 1950s they figured it out and uh, up until the 1950s they didn't know for sure because they just didn't have the tech to to figure it out but once they did it was like oh okay anyway sorry that's my little ramble (laughs) no 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 no, that's good that's good so so i was gonna ask a little bit about the trend too so 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 when did you when, when did this kind of um you know, if I'm talking to the people here in Boston, it seems like about two years ago is when a lot of it, it a is, lot of it started, started happening. happening. Yeah. Okay. A, the it, trend. Yeah. So just run me through kind of like the timeline. Of, oh and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, the and timeline, uh, and I'm not, I won't be shy about saying how I helped with it, which is sure, the, sure. the timeline was about two years ago. I put out a series of videos that was that really kind of turned into the dummies guide to flat Earth. Okay. Up until then, Flat Earth has always been around. I mean, literally, it's been around for a long, 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 long time. I didn't invent Flat yeah. Earth. But it, until recently, it was kind of coming in like a like a fuzzy radio station. And all I really did was, because uh, I hated it. I, I thought it was terrible. And so I looked into it and tried to break it down for like nine months from like the, the yeah. summer, summer of 2014. And to the point yeah. where I was like, okay, you know what? I can't prove the globe anymore. For whatever reason, I cannot objectively. If I was going to treat it like a court case, I can't do it. Yeah. So I put out a series of videos. Can't going, prove the globe any, Can't prove the globe anymore. You said. No, I couldn't prove the globe anymore. I couldn't do it. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, and literally, if you treat it like a court case, nobody can. They they cannot. Yeah, yeah. You cannot do it. So I put out a series of videos. I was really really frustrated, and I put out a series series of videos called Flat Earth Clues at the beginning of 2015. And I called, said, called, what was it? Sorry. Oh, Flat Earth Clues. Okay, okay. And you'll see that. I, I sent it to you on the, the link in, in my email. But oh, you, perfect. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But if you type it in anywhere, you'll find it. But Yeah. And I, I said, okay, prove me wrong. Tell me how you think. I think it's – I don't think it's a globe anymore. I think it's flat. I think it's always been flat, and I think that it's it was introduced artificially 500 years ago to keep us from freaking out because human beings don't like confinement. So yeah. tell me how I'm wrong. And I honestly – honestly thought for at least the first month that that thing was out there that he, I was going to get some professor, somebody, a guy with a master's or a PhD in astrophysics and, and was going to call me up and say, okay, here's where you're wrong. Show me a little math formula. You forgot to carry the two. You're an idiot. You can shut down your YouTube channel now. And instead, yeah. instead the opposite happened where people, it really, not only was it resonating with a lot of people, I started getting interviews immediately. And where people okay. were going, they were like, tell me more, you know, tell me how this, yeah, yeah, yeah. how this thing's breaking down. And then I started getting subject matter experts that were calling me, people out of different fields and, and disciplines, you know, okay. all, all branches of the military and engineers and anybody that had to do with transportation and anyone had to do with okay. flying. Everybody was telling me the same thing. Surveyors were, were great too. And they were all saying the same thing. It's like, you know what? We couldn't see the forest for the trees. We all have heard of the, the curvature of the Earth, and we've all heard of the Coriolis yeah. effect, but nobody uses it in real life. Nobody uses it in their nine-to-five jobs. And so we just assumed, like the pilots told me the same thing. It's like, oh, yeah, we, we always see a flat horizon when we're flying, and, and, but we get from point A to point B. Nobody dies, right. so we don't really think about it. And, okay. of, and it's so ludicrous that who are you going to tell anyway, really? It, it, once you figure it out for yourself, it's, it's this struggle – of try it's like okay who do you tell which is why i came up with the whole fight club analogy which is the first rule of flat club is that you do not talk about flat club because people how, you, and how come okay yeah. oh because you will get ostracized for it i you okay. know and that's and that's why and because people get the the problem with the the community uh, or just the whole concept is once you figure it out it, it's it's a flaw in the in the in the community thinking which is once you figure it out you forget all the time and frustration it took you it would be it days or weeks to get there. You know, it's like, it's like okay, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, hey, it, flat earth, I, you know, I kind of dig it. But once you do yeah. that, it's like, oh, yeah, I think I'm going to tell my best friend or my family over dinner, I'm going to try to convince them in two hours. It's, yeah. like, it's like, dude, it took you an entire week to get there. How do you think you're going to convince them yeah. in two hours? And when, yeah. you, when you bring it up to people, because the conditioning is so deep, I mean, we've been told literally since we're six years old, you know, you put the globe in the classroom that – if you just through high school, that's 12 years of seeing that image, not to mention all the, you know, the movie references and space shows yeah, and, sure. and all this, that, that people really, I mean, I'm not kidding you, even the most hardened conspiracy people brace against it because the condition is so thorough until recently. Say that again. You said, you said uh, I'm not kidding you, even the hard, even the most, oh, hardened, oh, no, even the most hardened conspiracy. I mean, I literally know conspiracy guys 
yeah. that think that all the members of the royal family are reptiles. And you know, they'll, they'll, they'll say, and I will say, yeah, you know what? I, I got to think about flat earth, and it'll get the hell out of here. You know, the, like, like, you like, say, like, literally no conspiracy, literally no conspiracy theorists who believe who believe that the entire royal family. Oh sure, sure. I, I, mean, is, I mean, there's conspiracy guys in all all the different disciplines. I mean, guys that believe in Bigfoot, guys believe in Loch Ness monster. Not not to mention yeah. all the all the other fun stuff. Uh, you know, the, the but major... they but they so even so, yeah so, so the, even the ones who believe in the, the, the oh yeah the yeah it about, is they, it they, they, they but they, but they they hear flat Earth and they they balk. Oh yeah yeah it. me I mean look I, one of the reasons I got into flat Earth was sheer conspiracy boredom. Where I had heard it all, okay. and I, you know, I had an opinion on pretty much every conspiracy you could ever think of, and okay. and but yet there's this one book on the shelf which nobody reads. You know, it's the DVD you got for Christmas that you're never going to watch okay. because it's it's horrible. Yeah. It's it's got a horrible title and it, it's nothing you're yeah. interested. In. But when you look yeah. at it, finally, when you finally look at it, you're going, okay, what exactly is going on here? It's kind of like. Uh, uh, here's another analogy I can give you. It's kind of like a, yeah. a child's puzzle box. You're looking at a guy on a park bench, and he's playing with what appears to be like a children's toy, but he can't yeah. figure it out, right? And he's getting okay. you can see you can see him getting frustrated. And he's turning it over and over, and he can't make heads or tails of it. And you're looking at him, yeah. going, "This guy's an idiot." <laughs> I can see how yeah. I can solve it right from here, right? So. He gets so frustrated, and you know he he leaves the park bench, and the the toy's still there, and he's like, you know, I'm gonna solve, the, crack this thing in an hour, a day right. at most. And you sit down, right. and the more you play with it, the worse it gets, the more complicated it gets, because it you start running into these loose strings, these loose threads, and okay. where you can't get a resolution. And and it's like, okay, why can't I solve this part of it? Why can't I solve it? when you're talking about the globe? You you right. tr you try to lean on certain things. It's like, well, we know it's a globe because insert your answer here, and you can't yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just you just keep falling. You keep going, and then as you're going down that path, you realize there's like two or three more paths to where all yeah, this, yeah. again. It, it, some people it takes a, a very short amount of time. Anyway, so sorry the timeline. So in 2015, I, I put out those clues, and then. It, it was it was it was building slowly but surely, and then in the beginning of 2016, uh, that that Grammy nominated rapper Bob, he made a yeah, song. Sure, sure. He made a song about it called Flatline, which was interesting. And then for whatever reason, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the world's most popular scientist, went okay. came out against him and did a head to head. Well, you know they didn't meet face to face, but he went on Comedy Central and tried to disprove the flat Earth. And that generated yeah. a lot, you know, that's, it, that sounds like a bad so joke. This was, so that was one key moment. That was a key moment. That was the beginning. They brought it, brought, it brought it into at least, at least. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that, because ev way. everybody talked about it because it was an interesting. And you're talking about, and you said, and you said, the, you said B.O.B. And, and Neil deGrasse Tyson, they, they went on TV and kind of and debated. Well, Neil deGrasse, it was worse than that. Neil deGrasse Tyson, what he did was, he, and you can look this up. I mean, type any of this stuff and it's, yeah. it's a great story. Yeah. Oh no, the, he just went on, he went on TV, right? And talked well, about it. Well, Neil deGrasse Tyson did. B.O.B. made a song about it, and he used what he did was he used like a 60-second university clip of Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about the Earth and <laughs> it, in the song. And then Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, for whatever reason, again, tried to address it, and not only did they got in this kind of this Twitter battle. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. then Neil deGrasse Tyson comes on on Comedy Central and I think one other show and, you know, goes into this little tirade, but it was it wasn't very well done. I mean, there's no graphics, no animations. He just started talking math. And I was going, dude, you're not near bringing your A game. But it generated yeah. a lot of uh, pub publicity about it. And that carried through pretty much most of 2016. And then <clears throat> I think it was the end of last year or the beginning of this year where Kyrie Irving did his thing. Right, yeah, yeah. Which sure. was it was mind blowing because you know here okay. he, he, he does this before the all before media day at the All Star yeah. game, and you know his right hand man. You know now they're going to be broken up here as soon as they uh, as yeah, soon as the sure, season sure, starts. Sure. But they um, well, LeBron you know, was talking about it. Oh yeah, LeBron. Point. I yeah, mean, yeah. I've got that's a, a clip I use uh, pretty regularly now. An All Star game where LeBron is actually asking Kyrie at the All Star game. It's like you know, is the Earth flat? And Kyrie's going, yeah, and it's going, it's, oh my God, it's, you couldn't ask for a more high-profile thing. So 
That... You, couldn't, you, couldn't, you, couldn't, you couldn't ask for a more high profile. Oh, it, well, really? LeBron James. I mean, think of you, you have companies that are falling over each other trying to get him to endorse stuff. And yeah. he, he goes ahead and mentions Flat Earth, not in a disparaging manner, for right. f- for free <laughs> for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, It's like, really? The, he was the most, most recognizable athletes literally in the world, and, and he did this. And, right. Yeah, then, and, and by then, of course, and then Shaquille O'Neal came out a few days later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I know it. he backed off of that, but of course he was going to. I mean, the man makes $20 million in endorsements, and he hasn't played a game in for how how many years? Right, right, right. And so, oh, he, oh, what the, go ahead. Oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh well, then he comes oh, at he, so I, well he backpedaled on no, no. Jimmy Jimmy Kimmel. Anyway, so go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but one thing I was guess before I forgot because you were, you mentioned this is, is um uh the backlash and the and the the um you know how oh how the family how people, people will come people exactly, will come against but, you. I, you know, t- and talking. I mean, even just talking to some of the people here that meet uh that meet up. Uh, once a month. It's, I mean, it sounds like this is a, this is a thing that 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 uh, you know, while it doesn't seem you know to the outside observer, might not seem like that serious of a thing. But it sounds like you know from from people who believe it, you know, it sounds like it's it's you know ended relationships. Um, it know, potentially, you know, yeah. Kind of, it's it's really strange. Have you, have you heard of instances of, of, of things that, you know that they kind of illustrate you know like how serious you know? Oh yeah. Kind of, like, people oh. take it. Oh yeah, you bet. Uh, the, I, I I can't begin to tell you how many there are. Uh, people mostly because of what I mentioned earlier, where people like last last holidays was probably the worst because people went to the holidays, and you would sit around you know Thanksgiving dinner, and they would bring it up, and yeah. you can't. I mean, t- t- you pick any other topic. You know, you might as well say you, you're coming out. Uh, you know, as a homosexual heroin addict. You know, at, at Thanksgiving yeah. because because that's the sort of reaction you get. It's like. What? Because people think you you've got uh, some sort of mental problem that, that's, yeah, that's, ha- yeah, that's yeah. happening there. People really will will lash out against you. But again, it's it's a, it's a knee jerk reaction. I quote it yeah. here's, here. Uh, but yes, relationships have ended. Divorces have. Ha- I mean, look, I won't even date. And, and but there's people. I mean, there's there's flat earth dating sites happening right now uh, because Is that people. True? Oh yeah, absolutely. You, the, look up something called uh, what's, I don't want to scrum all the names up, but here's one I know because it's so catchy. Flat Earth Love, F E Love, I think. dot com. F E Love, okay. F E Love, which, Love, because it's such a huge paradigm shift that if your significant other isn't on board and doesn't eventually get on board, it's doomed. You, there's nothing, you know. It's a, it's a. But if big, your significant other isn't on board and doesn't get on board, um, yeah, and doesn't get on board, yeah. uh, eventually, and, you know, doomed. some some yeah. people take their time. Some are kind of neutral about it, but I've never really heard a good story about a relationship where one is really, really pro and one is against. It's ex- yeah, yeah, yeah. It's extremely polarizing, in in that okay. regards, where you nobody's on the fence about it. I mean, yeah, you being in yeah. the media, in, you being in the media, you're kind of on the fence because you have to be, you know, for what what you're t- what you're doing. But most people, you are either really for it or really against it, which is why the producers have been coming yeah. out in droves, circling us, because they know that it, it, what's the producer's line? It's like doesn't matter if you love it or hate it, as long as you're talking about it. And that's really where we are right now, where the meetups that, in fact, I'm going to a meetup uh, just this afternoon. Uh, we're up here in Seattle. It's the second one in Seattle this year, and I'm not even organizing okay. it. Uh, there's, okay. There's meetups. Let me let me kind of give you break down some some quick numbers. The meetups that are happening that just started happening this year. I, yeah, I did one last year, and uh, Patricia, one of the the uh, big flat Earth women, she did one in Houston last year. But this year, I mean, just about every city you can think of has has done them. And okay. the numbers, ninety I would say at least 90% of our membership is still, again, don't want to use the gay reference too much, is uh, is in the closet about it because they don't know who to okay. tell. They, uh, it, and if you, you, if you want to know, like, like if you go into YouTube and you type in, if you typed in Flat Earth, this will give, me, give you an idea of growth, typed in Flat Earth at the beginning of 2015, you may have gotten like 50,000 search results. Okay. If you type it in this morning, and you got to sort by upload date because uh, YouTube keeps messing with their uh, algorithms on different filters, but upload date seems to always okay. show the, the best. You sort by upload date, as of this morning, it's at 18.9 million, which is okay. wow. huge. I mean, and then you're saying, well, okay, what does that mean? It's like, okay, well, if you type in NASA, it comes in about 8 million. 
If you type okay. in Lady Gaga, she comes in at just about 16 and a half, maybe 17. The, the president, okay. Donald Trump, comes in at about 20. So we're tracking better. It, it's one of those weird secrets out there that's in the, in the conspiracy. We're tracking better than most mainstream topics. I kind of equate it to the, uh, the Spice Girls album. And I don't know how old you are, but you remember their big, big album okay. back in the day? You know, tell me what you yeah, want. Yeah, barely, really, really. but I do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, it won Grammys, right? Mil- and yeah. I'm, st- I'm stealing from Chris Rock here. It won Grammys and millions of people bought this album, but nobody admitted to it. Meaning, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, it was a, it was an album you played at home by yourself. You never played it in front of your friends because it was super catchy, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it was super cheesy. That's sort of like what's what's with the flat Earth thing, where it's it's this guilty little pleasure out there where people love digging into it, but they don't want to talk. You know, it's like they're not going to bring it up at the water cooler generally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. So the so the numbers just keep growing and growing and growing. But it's still, you know, there's, it's, so I, get, I have this weird vision of when, you know, when, it, when this thing finally breaks or finally hits a certain level that you'll be talking to your friend. And it's like, oh, yeah, you hear about this flat earth thing? It's like, dude, I totally heard about that like a year ago. And yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's where kind of the meetups are going. The, the meetups are kind of, and I don't know, did you ever, did, have you gone to one or are you just tracking some guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gone to Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you, you, you know what it kind of feels what? like. If you, the first time it ever happens, you know, like when, when, I don't know if you do repeated ones in the same area, but yeah. the first time it happens, it kind of feels like a, like a more positive version of an AA meeting. To be honest, <laughs> because you yeah, 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 it's like, yeah, my name's Mark. Hey, Mark. And I'm a flat earther. You know, it's like, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like I got into flat earth because of fill in the blank here. And that's what it kind of feels like in a, in a way, because people tell their stories about, oh, yeah, you know, my girlfriend, she hates me and my, my mom won't talk to me anymore. And yeah, yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> that's where it, it leads. But it's really but it's still but people don't give it up. That's the other thing. It's like once you once you go down that road, it's not like you can turn it off. I mean, yeah, you can. The enthusiasm can be ramped down, and you can go try to yeah, go yeah. Back to your normal life. But nobody. I, I mean, yeah, there's a few people that claim it, but very very few people go back to any sort of globe model. They may they may not make videos anymore, and they may you know stop telling their friends, but they've kind of been um, inoculated against yeah. against the globe and so they just you know they they do their thing and they kind of nod to each other but it does turn into that fight club scenario the only difference is is that we don't you don't know because we don't have badges or patches or weird yeah, stickers, yeah, yeah. stickers on our cars so you don't know you probably walking by flat earthers on the street you have no idea who they are because they look exactly like everybody else so, right right and it sounds like in many cases aren't going to talk no no well not unless not unless stuff. somebody brings up because they look around it's like oh is, is it okay to talk about this and, right right right. Uh, whereas you know the the people that are are more more high profile in the community i mean that's what we do we 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 just we don't care you know but at the same time it's you know i'm not some people are like into street activism pulling you know, pulling people off the street i'm more of a you know do interviews make videos try to yeah. t- do a soft touch because it, you know th- there's a pu- there's pushback where y- you bring it up to some I'll, I'll, let me use a george orwell quote for you real quick which is it's actually i put it on on in the description of every video i make because he wrote this yeah. in ni- 1946 where in a, some british publication where he, he was talking about the responsibility of science now he's not a flat earther or he wasn't a flat earther but he mentioned something because he, he goes it's interesting he goes you can go to anybody on the street and ask them how they know they're on a globe right now. And they're going to, their first response is always the same. It's like, well, what are you talking about? We know. It's one of those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. We just know we're on a globe. And when you try to push them on it, it's like, well, how do you know? They get irritated and sometimes angry. And I thought that was very, very interesting because remember, in 1946, that was still 12 years away from when NASA was even founded in 1958. Okay. So how did everybody yeah. know in 1946? And it's like, because, right. because they were told. That was it. And because yeah. science isn't like anybody else, science, you know, it's like if a spy came up to you, you're not going to believe them. But science, they're science. You know, they, science would, would never lie. I'm going, oh, no, no. They, they, again, they're an institution yeah, yeah, yeah. like anything else. They do not, people protect their own, plain and simple. Uh, sure. you, know, the petroleum, you know, if they came up with a, if somebody came up with an alternative, alternative fuel source and could replace gasoline, you know full well the petroleum industry would be all over that and either buy them out or threaten them or shut them down or do whatever they can. Um, perfect example would be uh, cubic zirconias, 
right? <laughs> Cuber's zirconia yeah. is the, the diamond industry finally you know, gave up and bought them out entirely. The diamond industry now owns <laughs> all cubic zirconias because they couldn't. There was no way they could beat them uh, in a, in an open uh, open fair fight. So they said, you know what? We're just going to pay. We're going to buy everybody out. And now we own that too. So science, yeah. so it's not true. Do not think that science. Yeah, of course. You know they're 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 academics and they're supposed to be full of full of integrity but i could give you plenty of examples of uh, you know of, of how science is like that one of the most arrogant things and i don't want to bash i don't want to make it sound too negative but it's for you yeah um so you know one of the most arrogant things i've ever heard in my life was neil degrasse tyson saying that science is right whether you believe in it or not and I'm going okay, you know, when you're when you're that's a pretty general blanket statement. And like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you're talking about the boiling boiling temperature of water at sea level, yeah, okay, I'll go along with that. But science, when science makes big mistakes, they do not fess up and apologize. I mean, good lord, I mean, you know, when, <laughs> si when science right when they made lead paint or lead gasoline or ddt or i don't know asbestos yeah. or how about my you know the most one of the famous examples is i don't know the scientists that took all the money and told everybody that cigarettes were perfectly fine you know so don't yeah don't, yeah, don't, yeah don't tell me that science can't is incorruptible uncorruptible right don't tell me that they cannot be bought off they're just men like anyone else, you know, they, they, what was the funny line? Scientists need Porsches too. And they, yeah, yeah. they are, they're going to absolutely take the bribes when, when it comes to that. But you know, because they're not military, because they don't, you know, we don't treat them like mad scientists necessarily, or, or evil supervillains, they, uh, they, yeah. get a, they get a pass. And with something like this, uh, the, which is why, and if you watch the clues, and I highly recommend you do, uh, when you because it's not okay. that long. But one of the clues I actually touched on, for example, here's a perfect example: the core of the Earth, boiling boiling temperature of water. Hey, fine. Tell me about the core of the Earth. If you drilled, if you believe mainstream science, if you drilled down from your office right now four thousand miles, you would hit the center of the Earth. It's like, oh, okay. okay. And we and we've all seen the cross sections of the of the Earth. You know, you got that red band and orange and yellow. And yeah, white. sure, sure. And, sure. You, and we've like all seen this. Like talking about the layers, the layers. Oh yeah, the layers. Yeah, yeah. We've yeah. all seen this since we're kids, right? It's like, oh, good. You so you know the layers. So what's the deepest hole you've ever drilled? You know, half that, two thousand miles, thousand miles, uh -huh. because you got to remember, like, hundred, you know, uh, one percent of of that distance is forty miles. That's one percent. So you've drilled forty miles, right? How about ten? Yeah. No, the deepest hole ever drilled is eight miles. So okay. what exactly? And and in in small print, uh, if you go to Wikipedia, they say, well, yeah, we're extrapolating, we're expanding, we're speculating. It's like so you don't know. You literally don't know what's happening between here and the core. If, again, if you believe even at the, at the globe at, in time, at all, and it's like yeah. okay. I, even if I even if I did go by what you're saying about ground penetrating radar and all this other crap you you're, you're coming up with, you know, one I don't buy that because you've been you showing us that that cross section forever. And the other thing yeah. is, how are you showing us the cross section of Jupiter and Saturn and Neptune and all these other things when you don't even, there's you don't even claim to have devices on some of those places. So why how, how are you coming up with this? And they, what the the big reason is, is science. Even though they 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 won't say it officially, they make leaps of faith too, and that is instead. So I go my my argument. I put this to some scientists, and I go, so why instead of the cross section where you show us all those bands and layers, why don't you just put a big question mark in the center of that? That's because science won't do that. They won't do it. They don't leave open ended questions. They'll say our guess is this, and they'll do that for a number of years, and then they'll leave out the our guess. And it, then okay. it's got then it's gospel. We we every you ask any kid now that graduates from high school, it's like, oh yeah, what's this? Oh, that's the core of the earth. You know, that's the layers of the earth. Here are the bands. Here are the names. Like it doesn't strike you as odd that every one of those bands is about a thousand miles thick exactly, and there's no weird formations. It just looks like a, like you took a gobstopper and cut it in half. Yeah, that uh -huh. doesn't that doesn't bother anybody. So I mean, that's just <laughs> one example of what science. Again, the responsibility of science. We take their view as pure fact yeah yeah, yeah. so, so one, one of the things i was going to ask too is is um mm -hmm. you know from from talking to at least from talking to um one of the guys that i'm kind of focusing on uh here in boston yeah is that you know he feels almost like a like he wishes he wouldn't have 
stumbled into this because now he feels this kind of duty to kind of um you know show you know show others and and yeah. um and prove that this is you know pr- you know find definitive proof that this is the kind of case and so that's why he's out on like the... sunday mornings you know taking these you know taking these kind of like long range photos and stuff like this and you know out in the rain and um it's almost like i mean it's, he, he and I, i'm guessing others kind of almost some people it seems like kind of take this as almost like a burden yeah yeah the uh, the red p- pill blue pill argument uh, straight yeah. straight out of the matrix which is the, the line that cypher said it's like oh, why oh why didn't i take the blue pill uh yeah. yeah yeah it is it is kind of a double-edged sword in that regard which is you know once you know there is this there's this weird adjustment period i mean first okay. first off it's like going through a, a train tunnel just trying to get through it you know where okay. where there's so many doubts, but when you get on the other side, it, it you're you're in foreign territory. You're in I'm sorry, uncharted territory, where you yeah, don't yeah, yeah. you don't know what to do. It's like okay, but you do feel some sort of obligation to tell people because it's not just a truth. It's you know it's like where you know not some little conspiracy. This is a whole whole another level where because yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, because it's the only conspiracy you can't walk away from. So people, you you yeah you you do. Feel you say it. that again. You say it's the only conspiracy you can't walk away from. Yeah, yeah. It's the literally the only yeah. conspiracy you can't. Every other conspiracy you can bury in the desert somewhere, and and nobody's yeah. gonna see it. Anyway, I, I, I'm not gonna rattle off all the conspiracies, but yeah, all sure, of, sure. all of them can be hidden because if you don't want to think about them, you don't have to think about them. I mean, we'll just use JFK as an example, even though it's kind of dated. Uh, JFK, if you don't want to think about JFK, it's not gonna affect your life. However. Sure. If somebody comes to you and says, "Oh yeah, by the way, Neo, <laughs> the world isn't what you think it is," you're, you, you know, you can either ignore it, you can go into denial and hold on to that denial for as long as you want, yeah. or you're yeah. going to try to resolve it. And people have, you know, they they have it. I had a, a guy on a a show once, a radio call in show, where okay. they they opened up the phone lines and he came at me. And, you know, literally, you know, how dare, how dare you, young man, tell me the world isn't what I think it is. It's like, look, yeah. you know, I'm not saying that, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, if you don't, if you want to hold, I, I'll be the first pe- person to say this. You want to hold on the globe or if your life, the steal from men in black here, if your life, yeah. if you think you've got a good beat on things and you don't want to mess with it, do not look into this. If it's just, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. If you're yeah. happy with the life you have and you get up in the morning and you just smile at the window and go, it's going to be a great day. And you do that yeah, a lot. Yeah. You probably don't want to look into this because then you're going to have to start all over <laughs> because yeah, then it's yeah. like, because here, here's the real reason why it causes so many. I, I have been looking into this psychologically recently, which is yeah, it ripples back. It's kind of like finding out. Uh, that somebody lied to you from your childhood, finding out you were adopted when you were like 35, something like okay. that, because all of a sudden the yeah. ripples, the ripples start going back in time and you have to go back. You're, you're actually following the ripples back to all the way in with, and with flat earth, you're going all the way to the, pretty much to the beginning to where you're sitting yeah. in a classroom when you're six years old, looking at the globe going, Oh, look, it's the globe. And you know, the teachers encourage you, Oh, spin the globe. Everybody's done that, right? Yeah. Oh, where, where is India? Everybody's done that. And all of a sudden, all those years, I mean, it's not like you're just resolving something from, from now or last year. Yeah. 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 It, 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 you're, you're resolving something that goes back you know, again, the adoption thing or, or finding out the negative version of it. You know, it's one thing if you find out your spouse has been cheating on you. It's another thing if they've been cheating on you for the better part of 20 years. Hey, that's okay, a okay. whole nother level because then it just gets magnified. It's like because then you start yeah, going, yeah, it's yeah. like, wait a minute. What about when we took that trip to Bermuda? Right. Hey, yeah, wait yeah, a yeah, minute. Yeah. What about when we did this? That's really what what we're talking about here. It's it goes back so far that you have to reconcile a huge amount of memories that are tied to the globe. And then you have to, it slowly but surely get, find your way out of that, you know, where you have to go back and then move your way forward. And it's like, okay, you know, is my life, you know, because you literally kind of feel like the ground is coming out from underneath you. 
where you, yeah. you know some people have felt you know called me or written me and said oh yeah it's it you feel claustrophobic in fact some per person say okay. it's like because you're taking away the infinite universe and you're saying no have you're you heard just... of some bad have you heard of some bad reactions like when people when people kind of like first um nobody's nobody's for, nobody side. let's put it this way nobody's jumped off a bridge that i have been yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. i've sure, been sure, 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 sure. feeling really lucky about that yeah oh yeah oh absolutely yeah, yeah. people I, well, what people, are some things that what are some things that happened that you've heard from oh people, like, uh, well their, the first their... thing is absolute lack of sleep because okay. your your mind is is moving so quickly you're you're trying to you're trying to play catch up that there's no way that you can sleep most of the, most of the people okay. get into this lose i think like a week right off the bat and because they're okay. just because all they want to do they, they have so many questions they just start digging into more and more videos and more and more articles yeah and sure. they, they're just watching 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 they you know the whole the, what's the term the kid, recent binge watching okay. which you do with yeah. uh with shows so binge watching sure. and and losing sleep is the first thing second thing is anxiety third thing is tears depending on how emotional okay. you are uh, where you know because some people feel the uh, uh re they get that real uh, um uh, epiphany where it's like because you're if depending on the type of person you are glass half full or glass half empty you can get that feeling of the big the big one that hits is you're not alone and and, I, yeah. and I, again i'm not going to point towards the divine uh, and, and creation but that does really kind of play into it which is if you are in a snow globe a, a building then that building was built by someone which means you're not right. this lonely little rock flying through space that could get squashed at any time by a black hole or okay. a ro rogue sun you're yeah. in a very very you're in a way more intimate setting so for some people it's like holy smokes you just took me from a a a a, a, a and a, a giant house to a one room apartment in some yeah. in some ways but the other side it's like well but it also becomes an intimate one room apartment the okay. somebody wrote wrote me and said uh you know are you killing astrology and i go no no astrology not astronomy but astrology and i go yeah, no yeah. not not at all i go i go the stars are still up there and the the plan you know the, the planets are still up there but they're just lights they're just this giant elaborate clock system it doesn't mean you know astrology yeah. is based on that clock system i go clock system still there you can read it however you want it's just that they're not millions and billions and trillions of light years away oh sorry not trillions gotcha. of light years millions of miles away they're just really yeah. really close so okay. it becomes much more intimate and they were built specifically for this environment and okay. that really gives a lot of i mean there's you get for a bunch of people they they get it and it's like oh yeah this is cool you know this is now then they can get a, a more they feel more grounded to to this place and they're not as worried about anything you know any 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 sense of insignificance goes away you okay. uh you know that that sense of uniqueness that nobody felt and being you know it's being special it's like look and I don't want to get into much, you know, the, the church versus state thing, but sure. you're not an accident. It's really tough to be an atheist in this whole thing. You're not an accident. You're a unique, special, creative force that was put here for a reason. And, yeah. you know, what, the ultimate, you know, how, how that reason is going to be revealed, you know, and anyone's guess at this point. But it is, but you were definitely not just a, a random speck that was created out of out of nothing you know the the big bang question it's like a, that, that literally you were you were not created from nothing you were created okay. definitely deliberately created and that gives up so yeah once you can get past those early stages but yeah it's it's definitely a, a psychological journey for people and yeah uh, but but the side effects aren't as bad as you might think yeah some some people it's been way more positive than negative let's put it that way where okay, okay. most people are are um they they I mean, like the meetup i went to in seattle just uh, only a month ago i mean you literally could not it was hard to hear in there because people just they were just so amped up they love being okay. around other people and you know you yeah, get, yeah once once you get past that okay i can't talk to my family and i can't talk to this people you know these people uh, once you get into a room with other people, it really changes, and okay. then yeah, it's 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 so it's a really really cool th thing. That's a, that's that's a key part of the, just the the say emotional roller coaster of of oh, yeah. coming to believe that the world is that the that the world is flat is is or that the Earth is flat is is that finding like minded people absolutely that, that you can okay yeah 
Yeah, like like do anything. Take, I mean, do people think. I mean, and, and, and I mean, I'm talking about just from. I mean, I, I know that obviously, like, just from an emotional standpoint, is that um, relieving, refreshing, I guess, for for the, for these people to to, you know. You know, what, even if it's just a meetup with like a dozen oh, yeah. people, just to be able to talk to. Talk oh to yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's in fact, you don't even need a dozen people. I mean, when you first, I, I get email after email from people that say the first time they run into somebody, even if it's happenstance, the uh, they you go, it's like all oh, right again, it's that Fight Club thing. It's like yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm not alone. I, I'll give you a, a two two real quick stories. When I was down, um, in fact, during the same trip, I was wasn't not even six weeks ago i was down in yeah. atlanta at a religious flat earth conference there's two sides of this there's secular and then there's the religious side of it uh, okay and okay. i was down there uh because i was kind of curious to see how the the religious side was going the there was a it was a christian debate you know lot chapter and verse but i okay. go during lunch i go to a restaurant it was like a sports bar right next door and yeah. with like four or five guys and we're just kind of talking we're yeah. kinda la loud because you know the flat earthers are not quiet when they're yeah, together yeah. and the bartender a girl had to have been like 27 28 from the other side of the restaurant comes over and she goes hey you guys in the flat earth and i go yeah why yeah, and, yeah. She goes, and she goes high five and she was a closet flat earther and yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She, she had been into it for a couple of months and i'm going wow that's cool and then the next day i'm flying out of atlanta and I get to where, you know, they, they're doing their bags and you put your bag through the, the x-ray and it either you either get oh, it or it goes through security. Yeah, it's security. And it goes okay. into it. Sometimes it goes into secondary screening for whatever reason. And mine went yeah. into secondary screening. And I was wearing uh, one of the memes is I am Mark Sargent. Uh, it's a whole fight club thing. But I was wearing the yeah, yeah. I am a Mark Sargent shirt. And the there was a, it was a kid. He couldn't have been more than 25. And he sees me coming up to my bag, right? And and he yeah. looks. At, he's looking at the shirt. He's looking at me. Looking at the shirt. Looking at me. And he goes, "You, Mark Sergeant, for real?" And I go, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Why? <laughs> and he goes, he and he winks at me, and he goes, "That's my name too." And he gives me the bag without even checking it. And I was going, "Okay, what yeah, just yeah. happened here?" Which meant, you know, it meant, meant he was in. I mean, that was that's straight out of Fight Club, where you know the the bartender with a black eye gives you a free drink. And I'm going, right, okay, right. this thing is way bigger than uh, than I had even uh, thought. Because the, the, what it went along with what I was saying is there's a lot of closet flat earthers out there that just, because they haven't met up with other people, they're scared. Yeah, and yeah, and I've, yeah, had, yeah. I've had radio interview after radio interviewer after producer after producer. They have said, the reason this thing has not been turned into uh, a television show or a I mean, we've got documentary teams working on it right now, which is great. But the reason yeah. why it hasn't been turned into a television show is because the producers are scared to death of the potential backlash of, of, okay. of, of what might happen. That's what, um, you know, ahead. that's what, that's what a couple of the guys I was talking to mentioned that, that, that you had, that there was a documentary. Is it, is it a film crew that, that's following? Oh yeah. Following yeah. Right now? There's okay. multiple, uh, documentaries that are happening. Um, some Christian and some not Christian. But there's okay. a uh, there's a team out of Los Angeles that's been following us around for oh god months. And in fact, they took me down to the the blackout zone of the eclipse just just recently. Well, that are follow, that are following you around for months. You said? Oh yeah, yeah. Where where they just okay. come up? I mean, they've been up. They've been with me several times. They they go down and, and visit other people around the country. And they're the the culmination of it is they're going to be going to the national conference in. Oh, okay. Okay. Raleigh, North Carolina, yeah. and then okay. after that, who knows what they're going to do? Maybe sell it to Sundance. And is that, is that is the goal of that to make a film about it? Oh yeah, okay. yeah. It's it's okay, okay. They're they're going to try to turn it into a full blown documentary film, which is great. I'm 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 happy for them. But okay, it, it, but at least they're taking the chance. Nobody wants to be the first person on the dance floor. You know, you, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Especially at a wedding, you don't you don't want to do it. But that's what I run into. I mean, we've had producers been hunting around since the end of 2015. And in fact, one, okay. one in particular, she got fired because of it. she's going, oh, wow, she, okay. she did screen tests the whole nine yards, pitched them a, a, a rough sizzle reel, and they canned her right there on the spot. I, and it was like, oh, crap. But but she was ahead of the curve. She knew she knew what, what the potentially could happen. But other yeah. producers are kind of in that line where it's like they know how polarizing it is, but who's, who's going to be the one that, that puts it out there first and, and turns it into, you know, something? Because honestly, with all the reality television that's been out there over the last five years, uh, yeah. why, why hasn't this, this thing been covered? I mean, right, how, right. how many shows can you so, do on guys with beards yeah. that, are, that are hunting crocodiles? I, right. How many? I don't know. You know oh, and doing barbecue recipes on the side. Yeah. 
It's there's, right, there's right. too many target demographics now, and this is one of the only things that's, ne- that's never been touched. I mean, it's never been touched by anybody. Uh, we, we and we've had just massive, massive upticks in the in the search engines, and even though it kind of reminds me of that that Will Sh- um, William Shatner line, where after Star Trek was canceled. It, you know, it was syndicated all over the place. But he, he goes, he goes, I was the most one of the most popular men in Hollywood and I wasn't working <laughs> because yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because I could not find work, you know, even though he was all over television, you know, any any given night. But that's where we are to where I mean, even if you type in uh, in, in the search engine, if you type in the earth is uh, you'd see what shows up at the top of the search engine. In most yeah. cases, it'll be it'll be flat. Yeah. So, so um, one thing I was gonna ask, another thing I was gonna ask is that, um, you know, there, there there seems to be like 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 different responses kind of to different conspiracy theories. So like so like Alex Jones, you know, seems to that you know that guy seems to incite a lot of anger and right. and 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 vitriol and, and and that sort of thing, obviously. Yeah. Um, but it, it seems like with flat Earth, it's more it's more kind of like the the reaction is more kind of goes to not necessarily anger, but just like you're you're crazy. Just people will, people will write you off as, as as insane or crazy. Is that is that kind of how? Yeah, that, it's it's different. Is that kind from, of how 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 you 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 I guess it, yeah yeah yeah. As a matter of fact, it's it's been put into the vernacular of of mainstream media, where it's now synonymous with the ultimate form of crazy. So there's there's crazy. Right. There's really insane, and then there's flat earthers. Flat earthers has now okay, been, okay. has been bumped up to the top of, and you can see it. You can type in type in flat earth into into Google, and you'll see all these stories where they're they're t- they're topping it. It's like, oh, yeah, this politician is so nuts, he might as well be part of this flat earth group, or this guy is so okay. nuts. I mean, he he but, obviously believes in flat earth. But by the way, it's interesting yeah. you you brought up Alex Jones because Alex Jones' team was one of the early groups that contacted me. And they wanted to do oh, okay. a show. They wanted to do a show on flat Earth, and okay. their their question was, and I thought it was very telling, was, can we do a show without actually saying the words flat Earth? And I okay. go, you can dance around it for maybe I don't know ten minutes, maybe, but sooner yeah. or later you're gonna have to say it. And they said, yeah, sorry, right. we're we're just there's no way we can we can do this because, and this is Alex Jones, right? He, yeah, he does all yeah. sorts of funky stuff, and they would not touch it because – well, I said they wouldn't touch it. They were thinking about it, but they couldn't do it because they were afraid of the backlash. You, know, you would lose the all these members, you know, and, and the, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. maybe mainstream media would come at them. But, yeah, it, people – when it comes to Flat Earth, it's different from normal conspiracies. Like when they look at you and say, oh, you're a conspiracy nut, they look at you – yeah, it's it's completely separate. But at the same time – it's also you were asking let's circle back real quick you're asking why it's been resonating the way it has it's one of two it's part of two reasons one of course is because it's easy to understand the second part is that it's the only conspiracy that really has more positive aspects to it than negative meaning it's it's got this message not to steal from the obama campaign from years ago but it's got this message of hope which is okay. you know all the other conspiracy things it's like oh it's dark it's brooding it's like a it's like the heath yeah, ledger yeah, yeah. heath ledger batman movie it's 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 yeah, yeah. Sh- shades of gray man and, and sure. there's no there's no good there's no light light in it but this there yeah. there is which is why by the way there's way more you know the conspiracy world is is generally heavy heavy male dominated but there's a lot okay. more women in flat earth than there are in other conspiracies because okay. and that I th- for me was a huge point because to to note because women have you know women's intuition it's no lie they tend to you know they they tend to gravitate towards things that have a positive aspect to them and okay they find this it's like oh yeah it's got this you know especially when you get that part where you're not alone and you know that yes we were created and yes it grounds you to the system and that this world was it was very, is very unique and made for us and and, and all that spirituality side so yeah. i've de- i've dealt with a lot of emails from women and phone calls from women who, who the um and not i i shouldn't use the line too much uh it's from um it's a sales pitch line which is you, there's a reason why the hardcore like the guys that sell penny stocks and junk bonds and crap they, yeah they you, they're told only to pitch men because women don't they, they will smell bs quicker you know the, the line okay. is you know don't pitch the bitch 
but that's true. It is, it is you don't. The women, you know, they'll they'll look at you cross-eyed and say, "Okay, what's going on here?" And women have gone through this system, and you know, the 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 meetup I did in Seattle, there, it had to have been I don't know, at least a third women that were there. And okay, okay, it, that's that's amazing for the conspiracy world. Cause the conspiracy world is generally eighty-five percent men. And uh, this one, this one's tracking different. It's got a, it's got a really cool message of hope to it, which is that was a meetup in that was a meetup in Seattle. You said where it was two, two, uh, two, one third women. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I could probably okay. even after, as soon as I'm done with you, I will send you the picture of it. And oh, cool. Uh, well, I, I I, I, go ahead. Oh yeah. Um, before I forget, is there how do you how do you make like in in a in a in an area like this, where obviously people are not um, always uh, willing to come forward and announce their, um, you know, their their you know, stick a flag in the ground um, sure. publicly, how do you measure how do you measure growth? Because you know, you know, what are the what are the the, the ways in which you you determine you know how how many people this is reaching and that sort of thing? Is it like YouTube hits? Is it is it you, YouTube what, what, YouTube hits and you and and some Google references, meaning, again, when you go into, well, the, one of the big ones was, again, the search engine, where you, if you type in the earth is, it should never, t flat should never be the top of the list, but it is. Yeah, yeah. And, and that was just a side effect. That isn't a, that isn't a, a tangible number, but you can imagine, I mean, there's, there's companies all over the place that use massive uh, internet marketing firms to put their yeah. name at the top of the list. It's like, the best chip in the world is... You know, and and there's sure. millions of dollars is spent. That we were put to the top of the list on something generic as you know, is that w just as a side effect? But the rest has been, um, yeah, internet internet metrics and YouTube hits and YouTube search results. Not just not just the hits, but the search results. And and I know, yeah, when you type in, of course, there's not 18.9 million videos on separate videos there's a lot of mirrors that are out there but sure. it, it's but it's youtube's math um one of the things i looked up was actually i i check on a regular basis is the um there's there was a series so i did the clues but before my channel was even advanced enough to lump them all up into one several people took them because i made my stuff creative commons license so you could you could take it and use it and do it okay okay want. so, so, so people um, tell me do you have like a do you have like a um a like I'm just trying to figure out a way to like like kind of kind of quantify it. So like, can you tell me tell me like the number of people that were watching your early YouTube videos? For oh yeah yeah yeah. Type in who, here. How many are watching now? Uh, type here. Yeah yeah. My channel's got a whole bunch of, of you know millions of hits spread over a whole bunch of videos. But if you wanted to sure. see something interesting, look at these two because these are literally my videos compiled. There's one there's one two hour video. And one's okay. got, I think, 2.7 million. The other's got 3.5 million. Okay. And they're hitting completely different demographics. One was hitting the religious side. One was hitting, I don't know, something else. And gotcha. And those, you know, so there are there millions of people out there? Yeah, you bet. Because remember, even if it's just 1% of the population, it's 1% of the population in the United States alone, that's 3 million people. So okay. there are a lot of people there are that are, well, that are watching tell, this stuff. Tell, tell me like, tell me like, so like when you, when you make, when you're making, you know, the, say the first two or three months you're doing this, you start making videos, like what would be like, 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 you know, after, you know, after a week, what would be like the, the viewership total versus like now, if you. Oh, back in, um, back in the beginning, it wasn't like, that, be after it wasn't that much. Uh, because right, right, right. It, but, it, but it, can you quantify? Like, do you have like, do you know, do you know like roughly like estimates on like how many people then you know, in, in, let's say the first two months you were doing it versus now? Um, not really, because I wasn't watching. Okay. I wasn't watching the hits. I was watching. Okay, okay. I was really kind of. I was taking. Remember, I I put it out there. I didn't. Well, well, let me take it back a different way. Not only yeah. I was so nervous when I put this thing out there that I didn't even turn on comments for the first six months and I didn't even oh, okay. I, I didn't even monetize the channel for the first fifteen okay. months. So okay. but then but all that, the, now it's monetized? Oh yeah, now it's monetized. Well I mean YouTube actually sent me a letter and said you might want to think about monetizing. <laughs> it's like oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's like, because I mean other people they you know they try to sponsor you, you try to be part of a network. Yeah. And I was ignoring it and then finally YouTube sent me a thing themselves. They're like, look, you you might want to do this. 
And right, right, right. How oh, much okay. did you make? Do you, can, can you do you make pretty much pretty good money from it? Uh, I make. I, I'm not going to tell you how much, but I make okay. enough that it's it's worthwhile. Uh, you know, the key is, yeah. of course, with, with me, I didn't really care about using copyrighted material because okay. you, you can use copyrighted material in a lot of cases on YouTube. You just don't get the money for it. So a yeah. lot of my videos, I liked using little sound. I loved using people, other people's music, you know, sound soundtrack okay. music. Yeah, and yeah. but when I started doing my original stuff, that's when you as long as you're not using copyright material, yeah, they'll they'll pay you for it. And I was I gave away, oh my god, I gave away thousands thousands of dollars. Okay. <laughs> because they pay you like for example, they pay I think nowadays it's changed, but I think it's like a buck every thousand hits. Okay. And so like for example, like the the video I sent you like three and a half million hits. That's yeah. that's what three and a half grand right right there just on one video that guy got you know, if he monetized it. Uh, okay. So anybody that was taking my videos, they were they were making money off of, which is fine. I didn't really care because that's not yeah. what I was in it for. It's like oh, the truth should right. be free, free, right? But after a while, it's like okay, well I'm going to do this full time, so I might as well make it pay. And yeah. that's what you know. The, and you do the, it, and you do it full time now. Oh yeah, yeah. The okay, I okay. get I get royalties royalties from the videos. I get royalties from the book, which I didn't even write. Uh, okay. You know, the the um uh, a London publisher called me up and said, "Hey, uh, we'd like to turn your what's, clues, the, what's the book called? Uh, Flat Earth Clues. Okay, okay. And they and they said we'd like to turn your your book into or your your clues into a book. And I said, okay, okay. what do I have to do? You know, and take it with a grain of salt. It's like this, yeah. not, nothing's going to happen. And they said, oh, just send us the transcripts, you know, because I narrated everything. Wow. And I, I wrote it. I go, send us transcripts. And, and we'll send you a QA and a and we'll answer a few questions. And sure enough, a few months later, it's on Amazon. It's like, hey, great, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, a small radio network contacted me and they said, hey, how would you like your own radio show? You know, you can talk about Flat Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, okay, never really done that before, but sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. why not? And that was a hundred and I think what, today's Thursday, Tuesday was my hundred and nineteenth show, and I, it's weekly. Tuesday was your was your hundred nineteenth show. Okay, wow. Yeah, hundred nineteenth show. So over hundred, well over hundred now. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, well over hundred, uh, and that's uh, what that's two years worth. And okay, so it, you do so. So just run me through, run me through real quick. So what you do? So you do, you do a okay. So you do. Uh, so I like do, video, I do like YouTube, I, video, YouTube videos. YouTube videos. A book you've done. A book. And you do the radio show regularly. Do the radio show regularly, and then podcasts and guest appearances wherever I can. Oh wow! Okay. So yeah. like I'm going to be the keynote, one of the keynote speakers for the uh, the national conference in okay in the fall, and then I was invited to the um. Is that the, the one? Europe. Where is that? Where is that one? Where is that one located? Raleigh. Raleigh. Okay, that's right. Okay. And then I'm doing the um uh the London one, which is coming up in the spring, and okay. I, they're they're flying me so over. So they'll pay you to come. Pay, are they paying you to come out? They I, they are not going to. Or are they pay, covering, they're, covering your they're co yeah they're travel? covering everything yeah. Okay okay. So yeah, so it's turned into a real thing. And yeah. It's, and what did you do before? Did I were you in video game like? I like the video I game initially industry? I yeah I initially started out I played video games for a living back in the day. That's how I got into the industry. Okay yeah. <laughs> and then I know of all things, back when nobody was playing video games for a living, yeah. I was I was a ringer that would actually go around like Mac World and and um, yeah E three seriously. It was in fact that was the first time I was ever in Boston was at Mac World, uh, back oh, in, nice. back in the nineties. And and, what, did you, so what did you do? What, what did you do, or what was your title? Title back? Oh, I, officially, I was a video game producer. So okay, okay. they. So what I did was I hired. I would seek out the talent to make video games. So you know the, okay, okay. the, the, the developers and the music guys and the graphic guys and all those. But okay. but when when I was outside of the office, I was a ringer. So I would go oh. to these conferences and I would make the games look better than, you know, play them to basically because we didn't have uh, screen recording at the time. Yeah. Uh, we play the games as well as I could and talk to people and, and kind of show, you know, it's li like, you know, when you um, hire a professional archer to, to go to like a sporting sporting goods yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's like, oh, yeah, That's it's super, easy. This, bullseye. This, easy. Yeah. Bullseye. <laughs> That sort of crap. This is this is super random, but but maybe maybe um and and has nothing to do with the story. But I was actually thinking about a story the other day about um and maybe maybe you'd be the perfect person to ask about whether this would work. Is it's kind of like um 
and I don't know if this is true or not. I haven't done a single re- even a Google search on it to see if this is a thing or not. But it seems like we're talking to some some guys the other day, like you know, like you know, guys in their thirties who who still you know still play video games pretty regularly, almost oh, kind yeah. of like a therapeutic thing. Yeah. Um, I didn't know if that would you know I just have to figure I'd get your take get your take on whether that is a, is a thing. Like, do you, do you do you think it serves some of that purpose? It's just like kind of like you know that that one time for even like grown men to kind of like either. Oh yeah. Like a, well, if you're, it's, well, it's it's a little different for me because I'm extremely biased. I'm a I'm a yeah, lifelong, sure, sure, sure. lifelong gamer. But yeah, it is therapeutic for a lot of guys. I mean, but it's also a slippery slope because especially with console games, if you're playing on your television at home, sure, you, you know, you're sitting on your couch with a whole bunch of chips and and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you, it tends <laughs> like okay, how much time are we going to burn doing this? Because it can be addictive, and for addictive personalities, right, right. it can get a little. Uh, little it, yeah. It's it's tough, but at the same time, I can't really condemn it. But yeah, I can understand where where people get you know, the relationships can get in trouble if you're if yeah, you're, yeah. That, if you're doing that too much. But no, I mean, I hung out with huge gamers, and and of course, a lot of them as they grew older, you know, got married off and stuff. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, gotcha. Um, the only other thing I was gonna ask is is um, do you is there a certain t- is, is there a certain type of person do you in your opinion that's kind of predisposed that, that's kind of predisposed to being attracted to to the flat earth theory um usually people that are open mind oh, well actually it's both sides because it's polarizing it's it really depends how you get pulled in because if you're open minded okay. you're going to get pulled in but if you're also a big cynic you might get pulled in on the other side, okay. which is, you know, yeah. well, I'm going to I'm going to go in and condemn it. But generally, they the, the people that are most into it, they've got to have some background in conspiracies. It's okay. rare. Okay. It's it's rare that I run into people. It's like, oh, I never never looked at any conspiracies in my life ever. And yeah, then I looked okay. into Flat Earth. Usually they have to be suspicious about something, although nowadays it's not that hard. To, you know, you're, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. you're gonna. It's like if you watched any movies, you're gonna, you're gonna be, you're gonna be suspicious about something. But that's usually yeah. how it starts. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay. Perfect. I'm just trying to think. Um, oh, and how old are you? Forty nine. Forty nine. And where are you based? Are you in? I couldn't tell if it, are, are you Seattle or Denver. I'm in. Or I'm in Seattle. I was in. I was in Colorado for twenty years, and gotcha. uh, that's that's where I came up with the clues. And then, uh, but all my family's in Seattle, and okay. I I'm here until they send me. You know, I had a producer call me. I said, "Look, that was one of the reasons I left." They said, "Look, you're gonna have to move." <laughs> I go, "What are you talking about?" And they yeah, go, yeah, yeah. "You're gonna you're gonna have to relocate. Some you know, whether or not this deal crashes or another deal crashes, sooner or later you're gonna have a producer ask you to just go somewhere and, and okay. shoot shoot on site." And it's like, oh, "Okay, well, yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, this has been awesome. Um, no, <laughs> the only thing I was gonna ask you is, you said, "Did you were you saying earlier that that like, I don't, I mean, I'm saying in a joking or jo- joking manner, but like." You know, flat Earth is so polarizing or so um, untouchable that, or you know, you know, joking, jokingly saying that. Oh, you're saying, saying, saying something like, like you know, that even even Alex Jones. Oh, even Alex won't, Jones you know, yeah, won't, won't, won't touch it. Won't won't touch it. Yeah, it's so potentially, it scare it scares people from yeah, a yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's polarizing. You don't know if you've got. In fact, you could track. You could plot it on a graph. The more yeah, yeah. subscribers you have and the more listeners you have, the more fear there is because yeah. you don't know how they're going to react. And okay. you've got to get over that. Whoever I And mean, everyone's got over it, uh, has moved past it, has not regretted it. Because, yeah, you are going to lose some subscribers. There's going to people be right away. It's like, I am not going to listen to you ever, ever again. But you're also right, getting this, right. this wave of people, this new people. It's like, all right, he's on board. And yeah. Uh, by the way, I just sent you uh, a couple pictures, one from the Seattle meetup and then one from me down at the um, – um, Oh, cool. One of, the, one of the Flat Earth billboards that was down at the Eclipse okay. for, the, for the Black Hot Zone. The, um, but, yeah, Alex Jones, even even he wouldn't, uh, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't commit to it. And I, and I, and I get it. You know, but there, there are certain people, when you get to a certain si- size of conspiracy l- uh, listeners – uh, uh-huh. And there's three guys in in particular. One is uh, George Nori, may or may not have heard of him. One is Joe Rogan, and one is Alex Jones. But it's weird because okay. all three of those guys, it's weird they 
believe they, they'll talk about all sorts of conspiracies, but they all toe the same line when it comes to this. And they say, oh, yeah, NASA is absolutely 100 percent legit. We're not okay. gonna t we're not going to touch them. In fact, okay. George, Nor George Nori told me that on it was like an early interview I did where he told me that on the air. And that was his warning to me, which was just so you know, you can talk about flat earth, but do not go down that road. Because okay. you know, if, you want, if you want to stay on the air, that's what we're going to do. And it's like, all right, that's fine. It is, I, it I, is. I don't, I don't need them. But so, so even those guys, so even so, so even so, Joe Rogan and and, and Alex Jones, they, they they don't talk about. They're not like they're not. Nope. They're not flat earth. No, nope, no, nope, they won't. Flat in fact, Joe, they don't even but, talk about it. But Joe is interesting because Joe is the only conspiracy guy in the world that actually supposedly climbed out of the rabbit hole entirely to where he doesn't believe in conspiracies at all. Is it, if oh, okay. was, which is strange because he used to be anti NASA. He he's a weird yeah. warning sign on the post of conspiracy path. Okay, okay. <laughs> which is he he used to slam NASA, and then all of a sudden he goes dark for a while, and when he comes back, he's got a one year contract with the Sci Fi Network, where he's got this brand new show called Joe Rogan Questions Everything, and literally in the first okay. episode he recanted everything he ever said bad about NASA. It's like yeah, yeah, what, yeah. Well, how did that happen? Uh, right. But he's but but I think he's I think he's secretly a closet flat earther because he's done countless shows since we've come out and maybe it could be for ratings, but it, where he comes out against us because he knows the Twitter feeds are just going to explode and Facebook's going to explode every time he says it. it's like oh flat earthers a bunch of idiots and he'll just make up different ways of saying that and, yeah 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 and, and they and, you know with knee jerk reaction from our community we just come at him sure. with everything everything we got but yeah he won't yeah. touch it either. Okay. Um, and then, what year was it exactly that you that you got into this the first the first time? First time I even looked into it was summer of 2014. The first video was made in the beginning of 2015. Hold on, just a second. First time I looked into it was was summer of t summer of 2014. Yeah. 2014. Uh, made first video in 2015. 2015. Do you remember what what season it would have been in 2015? Oh yeah, yeah. I need to tell you exactly. It was February 10th. Woke up okay, in the okay. middle, middle of the night and had that Jerry Maguire moment, where I woke okay, up okay. And, and said, "I got it. I I've got I've got. I know how I can I can resolve this." And that yeah. I sat down at the computer and cranked out the whole thing like I was possessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you, that's when you made a video, your first yep, video. That was the that was the okay. first video I made, and then I made one. I made a clue every day. I did eight, seven clues in eight days. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, awesome. Well, Mark, this has been this has been awesome. I appreciate you taking the time to, to oh, chat. Oh, no, um, my, my pleasure. If, if if I have any other like questions to pop up, is it okay to either either shoot you a quick email or, or give you a quick call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If um okay, if you, I will be in the next three hours. I'm going to be. I, I'm heading down to that meetup, but I'll have my cell phone with me.